Well, that's why you have the clutter called Kanishi. This is supposed to be a major highway. Indeed, if you count the lanes, you would have one, two, three, even four lanes from Malam or Odoko, that is uh, Western Accra, towards Accra Central. But then we get to Kanishi, where the footbridges are, everything terminates. And the reason is simple. There are buses that have lined up and formed a station. Now, these are stationary vehicles which load here. And we are told it is with the permission of the city authorities. The motor traffic and transport department officials are moving in the thick of things, attempting to ensure order. But it's almost like there is chaos here, total breakdown of law and order. Every day, you would meet several police officers, MTTD officers for that matter, attempting to ensure law and order. And you could see there a gentleman, a police officer, attempting to restore calm. But clearly, uh, this is not something that they have always been successful in doing. And now, the pavement, there is a pavement to this particular road. That pavement has been taken over by hawkers. Again, we have an inner side of the road or outer side of the main road that has also been taken away by pavement. So if you look uh, from your shot, and if you look from your shot, you could see umbrellas lining the side of the street. Now, these umbrellas are occupied by hawkers. These umbrellas would ordinarily have been the parking place for a vehicle that wants to stop while on this journey. These umbrellas are now the station or market stores for hawkers who have taken over half of that part of the road. Now this is in addition to the pavement that they have already taken and if you zoom in down further you would notice the hawkers are struggling to walk uh, because where hawkers, not hawkers, pedestrians, where pedestrians would have walked, hawkers have taken over that as well. Now, that makes it a bit complex because hawkers are having to compete, or rather pedestrians are having to compete with hawkers. While pedestrians are competing with the hawkers, the hawkers are competing again with a new element that has been brought in there, motorbike riders or Okada riders, as you can see. Now, they have also turned a part of the road into their station, busily picking up passengers and dropping off passengers. So that is the segmentation of this particular road. Another gridlock is building up, a gridlock of vehicles unable to move simply uh, because some people have used their own wisdom to occupy that side of the road. And the authorities are watching, the city authorities are watching while this is happening. Just look at that. A two lane been used by one lane, actually it's supposed to have been a four lane uh, that has been divided further to a two lane. Now that two lane has been subdivided further to a one lane. This is a mix, or this is actually the catch. If you turn around and face Accra, so vehicles that come here, after going past the footbridge, which already has its own issues, you will see the stretch towards Accra. And that looks very clear, very clear, the stretch to Accra. And this is simple, because there's no business happening here. Of course, the third lane again, as you can see, has been occupied by trotro drivers who have turned it into their station, taxi drivers, and these long vehicles uh, that have turned it into their station. Watch how the vehicles are struggling to share the single lane that has been provided. Well, a key of the traffic issues or the traffic gridlock that we see here has to do with huge buses that are parked on the shoulders of this particular road. We've come down here to investigate to see what exactly is the reasoning behind parking these long buses. Now, these buses are a unionized or belong to a unionized group. The drivers belong to a unionized group. Uh, we've come here to speak to the union leader. Hello, sir. Welcome to City Newsroom. What, what's your name? I'm Samson Saka from North Dakuma Nyamiche branch. So you are the union chairman or what are you? I'm a committee member. Committee member. Yeah. Okay. How long have you been doing this business for? For about 25 years now. Tell me what exactly you do. So these buses, they come here and pick up and load, or what do they do? They come here and pick up and load to Mokola and come back. Where do they come from? From Nyamiche. And usually right now we have a station parked at the Central University. 
they will be coming one by one. If one move, they will call one and come. That's how we do our business here. So you've been doing this business for 25 years? Yeah. And you have always been doing it on the side of the road? This, this is where how we have been doing it. So you have turned the road into a station? Not really a station, but how this is where AMA gives us to us. Oh, so you pay AMA? Yeah, we pay two for it. How, how much do you pay? Do you want to share? Well, I think it's for four cities every day. For so each bus. For every bus that parks here, they pay four Ghana cities for, to yeah. continue to operate. Yeah. Uh, have you considered that because you're using one side of the road, you're causing so much uh, traffic here and causing so much uh, discomfort to people who use this road? No. After, as you can see, you can rather see right now. Look at the way we are parked. We are not causing any traffic. No, but you have taken one whole lane. This lane would have been a lane for vehicles. No, 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 no. Actually, that's the way we are looking at it. But this place is not, that bus is not passing there. The road is supposed to be a three lane. If yeah. you are coming from Odoko, it's a yeah. three lane. Yeah. Why is it that when you get to Kanishi, it becomes a two lane? Because you have taken one lane. No, 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 no. That, that one there, yeah, I cannot agree with you, please. Who took the one lane? Well, we are, we are, we are, we are, we are occupied that lane. Uh -huh. Purposely for loading our cars. Yes. Yeah. So we've come to the Kanishi or the Accra West Divisional Police Command at Kanishi uh, to speak to the Metro uh, Motor Traffic and Transport Department Commander, MTTD Commander here. He's Elvis Sadongo, and uh, he's joined us on uh, well in this in the studio to speak to us on City Newsroom. Uh, you're welcome to City Newsroom, sir, uh, Superintendent. Thank you very much. Now, why is Kanishi chaotic? And I'm referring to the road. Well. There are things that happened in the past where I think the motorists, or if you like, the vehicle population is actually, uh, has actually outstripped the number of parking spaces. Enforcement comes with some level of management. And if you don't manage enforcement, sometimes the repercussions are very negative. Mm -hmm. That is why we've involved the city authority to assist us relocate them instead of going there and drive them away. They have said to us that they are charged four cities per bus per day for using the road as a parking lot. Is that something that you can corroborate as, as a service? No, um, the street is meant to be driven on and there are spaces allocated for parking for different purposes. Where you can stop, where you cannot stop, where you can load, where you cannot load, etc. And so for it to be a permanent place and somebody levying them for parking there, this is the first time I'm hearing this. 